governor have the power to remove you from office? Have you talked to her about this, or have she called you to talk about this? Spoke to the governor uh, several times, and we um, we had a great conversation. She acknowledged the great things that we've done together, uh, everything from transit, uh, crime, to some of the very complicated things. And you know, the goal is to continue to show that we're going to continue to move in the right direction, and we're doing that. And you know, I never go into private conversations. That's why people enjoy having conversations with me because they never hear it again. Uh, I'm excited about continuing being the mayor and doing the work that I've done in the last two years and uh, 10 months. Well, did she tell you something about to, that she had to ask for your resignation? To, uh, to do what? Did she, ask, did she tell you something that she is going to ask for your resignation or something like that? Uh, the, the, uh, no, she did not. Uh, and Jay. Uh, sir, you have uh, elected not to resign in the face of the allegations against you. And, and, and I'm sure, knowing you, you feel that the reasons for that should be self-evident, should be obvious why you wouldn't resign. But there are people who are calling for you to resign. Can you take a moment and explain to us your reasoning for why you're not resigning? Well, okay, you say there are people who are calling for me too, but are you going to acknowledge there are people that are saying, Eric, hang in there. So we have to, this is New York. You know, you guys have heard me say this throughout my time in office, 8.3 million people, 35 million opinions. And so the countless number of people who have called me, text me, stop me on the street uh, and say, listen, do what you're doing, Eric. Keep doing what you're doing. You brought this city back. You dealt with the employment issue that we had in the city. You dealt with uh, the inability of NYCHA getting high-speed broadband. You dealt with the improvement of education from dyslexia screening to all the other things. Uh, you brought down crime from a 40% increase when I took office. Uh, you removed thousands of guns off our streets. You brought tourism back. Our subway system had the lowest number of robberies in the history of recorded history of this city. August was one of the safe shootings in the history of the recorded history of the city. So when you say, why shouldn't you leave? I got a job to complete. This is a resilient city. And the spirit of this city and that resiliency is important. There's not a New Yorker that's not going through a terrible period or a tough time. No one wants to go through this. But the reality is, it's not about quitting. It's about stepping up and continue to deliver for the city. The attorneys will handle uh, the legal aspect of it. I'm going to stay focused, and you heard me say it over and over again. Stay focused, no distraction and grinds. All of y'all hear that in your sleep, because that's what I have to do. Because if I send the wrong message to New Yorkers, that tough times mean you disappear or you abdicate your responsibility, that's the wrong message. Uh, I've done nothing wrong. Time will prove that. And people will look back on this moment and say, we're glad we gave this mayor the opportunity to do the work he's doing. Let's go on.